Hello and welcome to this support cast. My name is Ed and I see that Larry already started things off this week with a members cast so I figured I'd kick my week off with a free public cast. So today I want to go back into stacks and I want to show you a stack that I don't think gets a whole lot of uh, publicity. It did in the very beginning and there may be some of you who aren't aware of this stack or how powerful and useful this stack can be. And the stack that we're going to talk about today is right here. It is the CSS stack. It was created by one of the forum members named Lee. And it's a very handy stack to have. I have a quick page laid out here. I've got a text stack. I've got the spacer stack in there that I talked about last week. And then I already have the CSS stack dropped in. But what I want to jump over and show you real quick is if you get into the source file here and you scroll down through the coding that is going to be put out by Rapid Weaver, you get to this section here where stack starts. And then you can see here that we have our first stack that I showed you. And notice how the div classes go. Top, out, in, and then the text from the text stack. And then there's a clear. And then, of course, here starts my spacer stack. And then there's some more outs and ins from the stacks. And then the CSS stack is right here. And then it goes down to close out all of that code until it gets to the end of the stack's content. So if you're trying to style a stack, you could actually run into a bit of confusion here and there. And you definitely don't want to have to be jumping over to the source coding in Rapid Weaver to figure out exactly where your stack sits and what you need to style it. Plus, these stacks all repeat with stacks in, as you can see right here. And then you see I have stacks in again and stacks out and stacks in, which means it's going to make it very hard to actually uh, designate any certain settings in there unless you get in and really do a lot of hand coding. So here's where the CSS stack comes in handy. Now we've dropped it in here. So if we look at our page real quick, and I'm using the Aqualicious theme, you can see right there's the standard stack it's gathering all of its style information from your theme and whatever it is designated to uh, display the various elements and items uh, depending on the master CSS file. So let's jump over here and let's do something. We will just uh, grab this stack here and we'll give it a copy. Then we'll come down here and we'll paste it so that we can drag it in to our CSS stack. Now here's where the CSS stack is very handy. Get the HUD up over here where we can see it. And it's a very simple stack. It has two uh, places for us to edit. It has the class name or names and it has the style and by default it comes up with the CSS stack. Let's get that highlight off there, the CSS stack. And that would be the class name. And a div class always starts with a dot so it's already inherent in there in the coding from Lee that it's going to be dot CSS stack. Now we can do styling right here through the input that he's given us. So if we were to click on that and we don't need any additional code because it's already in there, we could actually change the color of our stack font by adding that right here. Let's go with a blue color in there and as you can see here in the back as I work let me move this out of the way as I work you can see those changes taking effect inside the stack itself so let's see let's add something else here and let's just make sure that I've got all my right coding going on so we've changed the color of the font let's go ahead and change our font size and let's go ahead and make this pretty large font. Let's make this 20 pixels. And as you can see, it's starting to grow. Now, what if we want to align our font justified? Let me get that typed in here. Uh, this is really, really tricky to type in here because you can't see all your code.
and it's really small. So, now as you can see, everything is setting up very nicely on that stack. With that spacer stack in there, we get a little breathing room. And it doesn't affect the stack above because we've given it a div class. Let's jump back over here and let's take a look at our source coding now. And let's see how things have changed. And as you can see, here's where our stacks start, right here. And then you can see here's our standard tech stack that I dropped into place, followed by all the information for our spacer stack. And then you can see right here is our CSS stack. And you can see that our styling has entered itself into the style tag that comes with that stack. So it automatically styles the text or whatever happens to be inside the CSS stack at that time so that you can get that difference. If we were to drop another quick stack in here, and let's just make it a really fast one. Another text stack here, and we'll drop it here underneath. And we'll go back to our preview page. You can see the only thing that has the coding and is affected is what's in the CSS stack. So, as you can see, this would be very handy. Be a great way to simplify your styling so you're not digging through code trying to figure out what's actually going on uh, with those stacks. I will include a link to uh, the direct download for. Lee's wonderful stack that he's created for us. I hope that everybody has found this quick cast useful and you should jump over and check out the different levels of membership we got going on with support cast so that you can jump in there and grab one whichever uh, suits your needs so that you can see some of the other design techniques that we go over and things that we teach RapidWeaver users that they can utilize in their sites and with their design layouts. This has been Edit Support Cast. Everybody have a great day.